For some fans watching the hit King is some of their first memories of baseball. And tonight people are flocking down to Great American Ballpark, leaving behind mementos for Pete Rose. You always talk about meeting at the ballpark at the Pete Rose statue. Well, that's where people are meeting tonight, where we find WLWT News 5's Lindsay Stone right now. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Mike and Cherie. Pretty emotional night here outside the ballpark. We have seen hundreds of people showing up here behind me, paying their respects, most of them with their red hat, tipping it and saying thank you to number 14. You see that growing memorial here behind me. We've seen people bringing flowers, of course, roses for the beloved Pete Rose. So many of them saying thank you to the beloved baseball legend. It's always sad when uh, heroes from your past uh, pass on, but also uh, a thrill as well. I'm lucky to have lived in a time when he lived, so a little mixture of both. Tonight, baseball fans grieving the loss of one of the sport's greatest players. Dozens showing up to Great American Ballpark, leaving roses for Rose. I mean, how could you beat the Pete Rose slide? I mean, you have a slide named after you. That says something, and uh, as, like I said, as kids, we would imitate him all the time. Some fans we spoke to say Pete Rose didn't just change the game, he changed Cincinnati, sharing his love of baseball with a community he adored. My, my dad and I, we didn't agree on music, uh, we didn't agree on uh, movies, we didn't agree on TV shows, we didn't agree on much of everything, but Pete Rose was, you know, he was the one thing that my, my grandfather and my, my father and I all had in common, and, and it's just... Uh, He's phenomenal. Rose earning the nickname Charlie Hustle for his dedication to the game and tenacious spirit. That's how longtime fan Sean Snyder says he'll be remembered. 4,192 hits, and then he said, you know what, that's not enough. I broke your record. I'll raise you 1,200. And, uh, and he did. And just moments ago, I spoke to Rick Walls, the executive director for the Reds Hall of Fame Museum. He said he's still processing this news, as I know we all are. He said it's still hitting home, but he said he wasn't surprised to see just how many Reds fans showed up here tonight in just the first couple of hours to pay their respects. He expects this memorial to continue growing. He said right now, Reds Nation proud to call Pete Rose one of their own. Reporting live here outside Great American Ballpark, Lindsay Stone, WWT News 5.